Good morning guys. So today we're up bright and early and we are doing probably one of the most famous hikes that you can do in Albania. It's the Theft of Albona Peak Hike. Um, we're up about 7 o'clock to hopefully try and beat some people, which sadly means we had to miss the guest house for breakfast. <laughs> so we had dry bread and which we dipped in melted butter in the back of our car. Yeah. Living the life of luxury. Yeah, that is <laughs> travelling. The reality is. Yep. <laughs> but apparently this is meant to be like one of the most beautiful hikes in the whole of Albania, if not one of the most beautiful in the whole of Europe, so I've got high expectations. I just hope it warms up a bit because it's yeah. a little bit chilly. I was going to say, it's nice and crisp at the moment. <laughs> no, but... it's not crisp, it's just pink cold. Yeah. <laughs> but the sun's just appearing over the mountains and like showing on the opposite mountain face which is really nice but we don't really know where we're going yet so we're just kind of trying to find the start of the hike. I'm trusting Matt with the map and I don't have a great says that <laughs> that is not a good plan. No but we've committed so oh God, here we go. Might make it back for breakfast after all. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good, you? Yeah. <laughs> so, it's too early, I'm tired. <laughs> we're just over a mile in and we still haven't reached the start of the trail. Oh, this is the start now, isn't it? Uh, I've seen a sign. It's going to be a good sign. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> I'm over tired, I apologise for all the bad jokes we're going to crack today. <laughs> So we've just made it to the trailhead. It is six and a half kilometers to Valbona Peak, or if you wanted to go all the way to Valbona, it's 13 kilometers. Um, either way, you'll be hiking the same distance. It'll take about seven to eight hours to do the full thing. Um, we'll talk a little bit more later on about why we chose to do it this way around and hike back to Theft tonight rather than finishing in Valbona. Um, but for now, let's get going. So we've been hiking for about an hour um, and more and more people are starting to come on the trail now. I feel like everyone has their half seven breakfast and then starts the trail so if you want to get here early it's probably either get it by yourself or have breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> Basically the two options. But the scenery is just stunning. It kind of reminds me or I imagine this would be like what Yosemite is like. Yeah. Never been, but it looks like pictures of that. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure about this path. It's quite steep. So steep. And it's the gravel. That's what I slipped on yesterday. So coming down is going to be fun. Yep. But yeah. I'm regretting this already. <laughs> Been a bit easier. Yeah. There's a little bar here. So we've just come across our first like bar cafe area. So they use like free running water to make a little like bar tub to cool the drinks down, which is quite cool. How but far in are we? We're about an uh, hour and a half in, so about probably a mile and a half from the start of the trail, but we've been about two and a half miles. So it's quite good. Yeah. We were worried about water, but hopefully if there's more places like that we should be alright. So we can just fill up our filter bottles yeah. and then hopefully not run out of water. So the first mile or so of the trail is like that, up a very steep gravel path. Um, straight up, it doesn't even zigzag really. Um, but now we're in this really nice like wooded forest. It's really pretty, it's a lot cooler. So 
I've been hiking for nearly two hours. It's almost nine o'clock now. We've just made it to the flower meadows and the view is insane. It's so pretty here. It's bright sunshine, um, so it's a little bit more warm than in the forest, but it is just so stunning. So I think we might just chill here for a bit, refuel, and then carry on going. So this view is just incredible. It keeps getting better and better, even from 20 meters further downhill. I'm speechless. And with like all the flowers, the alpine flowers, the butterflies and bees flying around, it's just absolutely stunning. If you can't manage the whole hike, I would recommend coming up to at least this point to see this because it's just amazing. So we're about three miles in, so about two miles from the start of the trail, and it's finally got flat. So the first two miles is pretty much uphill, either straight uphill or winding up, but after that you start to get into a little forest area and then it's relatively flat. But we'll see how long that lasts, probably not very long, but we'll enjoy it while it lasts. If that lasted about 100 meters, back up here. <laughs> We're just over halfway to the peak, so a quarter of the way of the whole hike. It is definitely tiring. But it's a tough hike. Yeah, it's just steep up hills, kills your calves. Foot. Yeah, so just be aware that it's not easy. No. Oh wow. Honestly, it's the little patches of shade that make all the difference. It's so hot today. You can probably see the sweat's probably dripping off me, but it's surprising how much difference just a tiny bit of shade makes because it's like actually nice and cool in the shade and you're sweating in the sun. So we've just been told there's about half an hour to go, so not too much further. It's just getting more tiring now, but I have a nice stop at the top have some lunch, refuel and rehydrate, and then start the long slog back down. So we just decided to have a little stop before the last little bit to the peak. I was very hungry. Yeah, <laughs> but the view is just incredible. Literally anywhere you stop, you can have incredible views, yeah. but I felt like here you can just like see the whole valley and the mountains towering next to you. So the peak is just there. We're very close, but it's a very thin gravel path to the top. definitely a challenge yes it was very tough 
I think going down is going to be even harder. Yeah. But so happy we've made it and the view is just insane in yeah. every direction. The actual peak is just over there. Which but we did just go up. Yeah, we did go up, but it's way too busy to everyone's just like pushing each yeah, other basically. Yeah, it's a really narrow path with like big drops. Yeah, and so very gravelly. So. Wouldn't yeah. do too much up there. <laughs> Just gonna settle in for some lunch now. Yep, much deserved and needed lunch. <laughs> With an incredible view. Yeah. Doesn't really get much better than no, this. It is stunning. So we're over 2,000 meters now, and you can tell we've gone up quite a long way because this is our croissants. That is like pure air in there. <laughs> when I opened the sun cream, it just like exploded everywhere. And like, yeah, it was very soup, but it's just insane what difference it's made. <laughs> We've got a little friend joining us for lunch today. So cute. <laughs> Can we take him home? Okay. <laughs> I reckon he's had quite a trek to get up here. Yeah. So Valbuna Peak is 1,795 meters tall which is probably the highest mountain either of us have ever climbed because you don't really get stuff like this in the UK. Definitely worth it if you're up to it. Just have to be very careful where appropriate footwear and stuff and make sure you pack plenty of water and food because it is very tiring work and it's hot. So as long as you're prepared, it's definitely a great trip. So we've just had lunch and we're about to head down again when we realise that you can actually see Beth from here. Like, I'm pretty sure that is the guest house we stayed at last night. Um, it just shows how far we have walked today. We've literally come all the way up the valley, then up the mountain, all the way to the top, and then we're here. But now time to head back down. I'm a little bit nervous for this bit, I'll be honest, after slipping on the gravel yesterday um, and knowing that it's a lot worse, a lot steeper and a lot more gravel today. I'm a little bit nervous on a bit. So let's try and make it down with no broken bones. <laughs> So on the way back it's a lot more peaceful and you're able to take in the view a little bit more like we know that we've made it up so all we need to do is make it back down so we've just noticed that there's loads of wild strawberries everywhere which is really cool um they're not quite ripe yet which is a shame but I just think that's really cool just on the side of the mountain we've made it back to the alpine meadows which means i think we're about halfway down now it hasn't been too bad so far i think we're getting up to the really steep really gravelly bit soon though we're at the point <laughs> final stretch but it's definitely going to be the last one yeah. this is the like basically very sheer very loose gravel path yeah we've stayed on our feet so far yeah We've Are we going to make it to the end? Probably not. Let's give it a go. Oh. So we've just made it back to the trailhead. So we've still got another about a mile to go to yeah. get to the car, um, but we've finished the actual main part of the hike. It was definitely a challenge at times, but the views were stunning. Absolutely incredible. Could not go over it. So we'd highly recommend it. Um, we'll say a bit more when we get back to the car. We'll just try and finish and hopefully make it back in one piece still. Yep, still haven't fallen over yet. Yep. A few zips, but no actual Been close calls. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. So we've decided to stop for a very well deserved ice cream. Yes. Definitely need it. I've also realised that my ankles and socks are absolutely <laughs> disgusting. They're so bad. <laughs> Bit close. might need a shower. Yeah. <laughs> Happy to be back. Yeah. So we finally made it back to the car. Nine and a half miles. So probably close to ten miles. Yeah, we didn't record them. No. But. <laughs> but 
It was definitely a worthwhile hike. 100% would recommend. It was stunning. Definitely you, need some base level of fitness. Yeah, it's, it can get tough. Yeah. Probably need about two litres of water each minimum. Yes, and quite absolute a bit, minimum. And quite a bit of food, so. Yeah. Just something to but bear in mind. Definitely. Good definitely footwear as well. Yeah. We managed some trainers though. Yeah. Um, there are actually two hikes you can do. You can either do it to the peak and back, which we did, or you can continue to Valbona. Um, that was our original plan, but we had a slight change of plans. It's quite logistically challenging yeah. to hike all the way to Valbona because that's obviously will take the full day. Then you have to stay in Valbona overnight, get a ferry back to Skoda the next day, which takes the full day. You get to Skoda at like 7 p.m. But the ferry is meant to be like one of the most beautiful ferries in the world, so but it can be really busy as well, so yeah. we don't know if it would have been enjoyable for us. And then it, you can't get back to Thef until midday the next day, so yeah. the hike would essentially take you three days. Yeah, so, so, so we didn't think it was worth it. Yeah, we definitely but, want to do the ferry another time. Yeah, exactly. We'll definitely come back and do it. But we're very tired. Yes. We would highly recommend coming to Thef. It is becoming more like touristy, like they're building a lot of stuff. Yeah, they've got new roads being built, new walls, loads of new guest houses yeah. are being built. So, um, would I feel like it's going to become like more of a resorty, touristy place, kind of like what Switzerland yeah. become. Um, but, whether that's a good thing or not, yeah. up to you to decide, just something to be aware of. But we'd 100% recommend coming. I feel like we're just going to head back to our guest house and crash for a bit. Maybe go out later and explore. Yeah. But it's been a really good day so far. We've yeah. really enjoyed it. So it's quarter past four. And we started at seven. We did stop a lot to yeah. take photos. We spent an hour and a half at the top for lunch. Yeah. Um, we act the actual hike took us about five and a half hours. Yeah. Um, and back, actual, so. Actually moving. Um, yeah. Just like make a nice day out of it. Stop yeah, as much as you want. It was really nice. Yeah. But yeah. we are tired. We need a bed and shower. And food. Yeah. And coffee. We're just going out for a meal. It's basically one of the best recommended places in Feth, so maybe it'll be good. But we're both definitely hungry and in need of a lot of food. So we're just going to get some dinner and poor Nat. He's properly twisted his ankle coming down that last slope. I don't know if you can see how crippled he is. We've got a half an hour walk to the restaurant as well. Yeah, we've got a half hour walk to the restaurant. And we're meant to be doing another like 18 kilometre hike tomorrow. I don't know if we'll be doing that <laughs> one. <laughs> See how it is in the morning. So we've just had a delicious meal at, um, we can't pronounce the restaurant, but we'll write it there. It was absolutely <laughs> incredible. Yeah. The staff were so friendly there. You could tell like they genuinely want you to be there and care. Yeah. Like all the food was like made in their garden as well. So like each day they have set foods that are made from what they like picked from the garden, which yeah. is really nice. It got very busy there quite quickly. Like. It opened at 6.30 and there was already people yeah. there and there's only a couple of tables left and then it was like they were getting table more tables out so yeah. would highly recommend going it's just get there early. Yes but it was absolutely amazing. Yeah. So they couldn't have done more they were literally running around yeah. literally running around literally. <laughs> and the food was just so good. Yeah it was and very filling. And it was all family run, like yeah. the mum was cooking the food, the daughter and the son were waiting tables. Yeah, it just had like a really great atmosphere there, would highly recommend. And beautiful surroundings, yeah, as you'd expect. obviously. There. But I think we're just going to slowly hobble back <laughs> and then... <laughs> Sorry, <I'm not. laughs> And then do a bit of work and then head to bed after yes. a very tiring day. Not really sure what we're doing tomorrow anymore. No, because, we'll uh, work out as we go. There's an ankle issue. Yeah, <laughs> we'll work it out, it'll be fine. This is what we've resulted to. 
Got it's about half an hour journey. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>